Uh, Jameson, you can see the window here at this Venice pawn shop boarded up tonight. These teens apparently shattering it with a brick. What they didn't know, a bystander was watching it all, and the camera you see up here recording their every move. Take a look. Good Lord, that's just, that's frightening. Assault rifles and guns in the hands of young teens, 11 total. Surveillance video capturing the teens breaking the window of this Venice pawn shop with a brick around 4 Wednesday morning. I'm absolutely horrified to think that that's going on next door to my house. Within hours, investigators found the teens and the guns you see here inside this abandoned home. The tragedies that could have occurred here, the, the thoughts are all over the place as, as to what could have occurred. But uh, we're just very grateful we got these guns back. The teens, who were not naming because they're juveniles, were holed up in the house, according to neighbors, for the past three weeks. There was no indication of any trouble next door, so this came as a big surprise. But with no adults in sight, one neighbor began growing suspicious. I asked him, I go, do you guys live around here? Because I, they just seemed a little, you know, iffy to me. But. Sarasota deputies say the teen boys ages 15 and 17 ran away from a group home in Punta Gorda riding stolen bikes to get to Venice. The 15-year-old girl reportedly ran away from her mother's home and is dating one of the runaway boys. Deputies believe the trio were moving from abandoned house to abandoned house before settling here. Deputies say they were stealing money from unlocked cars to get by and were planning to trade or sell the stolen guns for money. That's so scary. They're, I mean, they're just kids. All three of these teens are being held tonight at juvenile detention centers, and they're facing a slew of charges, including felony armed burglary. Now, as for that 17-year-old, deputies say when they took his fingerprints and ran them, they were able to connect him to another burglary that occurred earlier this week right here in Venice. We're live tonight in Venice. Jacqueline Inglace, ABC Action News.